Hello and welcome my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, my mermaids and mermen. Brenda here with your Pisces daily vibe from your guide's general forecast. And it's for today, October the 26th. So starting off, let's see what we have. We have been given the positive energy card and it says surround yourself with positive people and situations and try to avoid any negativity at all costs. So our manifestation work is going wonderfully right now. And by drawing this card, we're encouraged to take the process to an even higher level by going on a negativity diet. Don't you love it? This means avoiding negative influences as much as possible. We need to avoid negative discussions with ourselves or other people around us today. We need to turn off the television and the radio programs that have negative themes and stay away from violent movies. Especially for us Pisces, because we are the most sensitive sign on the zodiac, and you've heard me refer to us as the sea sponges. So we absorb all energy, and often it can bring us down if we are surrounded by a lot of negative energy. Don't read pessimistic headlines and steer clear of gossip-based magazines. This negativity diet will cleanse you of any hidden blocks that could slow down the manifestation of our dreams. So, or prevent them from coming true at all if we steer clear of any negativity today. That energy is so influential on us Pisces and we need to be made aware of that. So when we get caught up in those days of feeling down and the weather's cloudy and it's raining and we, we just seem to bring ourselves down and we seem to absorb even the energy around us and that can include the weather. So it's a day where you need to turn on more lights and you need to bring more light into yourself and think better thoughts. Another thing we can do is to apply Feng Shu, the ancient Chinese art of placement to our physical environments. In other words, <clears throat> which will help enhance the positive energy in all of our surroundings. So moving things around, moving our furniture around, bring, oh, lighting our candles, um, you know, getting out our oils and our essential oils that often we can use on our skin that makes us feel more positive, lavender that can relax us, right? Drinking more maybe chamomile tea and herbal teas that can relax us. We're also asked to denote, donate or sell items that are cluttering our home. This helps us bring in new energy and opportunity and will also establish an environment that promotes creativity, health, and abundance so there's so many ways we can <clears throat> we can clear out the energy around us if we find it's overwhelming us if it we find that we feel closed in if we find that um, we're feeling negative and down today so remember if you get that energy around you and you're feeling yourself in that situation Pisces think about this reading today and do what you need to do to incorporate positive energy around you now, how amazing, and I mean, I shuffle these, they fly out every every day when I ask Spirit to give them to me. You've got calm is not a weakness. So we need to think about on that level, right? <clears throat> a state of calm is not a personality flaw. On the contrary, when we feel balanced and harmonious within our soul, we attract that energy to us. Human society often equates movers and shakers and type A personalities, I'm one of them, um, you know, with prosperity and prestige. Not so much of that, though. <laughs> but at what cost to their emotional and physical health? Yeah, it totally wears me down. Uh, having to be on the go all the time. And it's me. That's who I am. I get up in the morning, my hit, feet hit the ground, and I'm running. However, don't ask me to go out after 8 o'clock and party, because by then I'm winding down. Slow and steady wins a race here when it comes to this card, and one day at a time are the mantras of this card. Sometimes the pressures of life on earth can feel like the light of your soul is being ex extinguished, and it's more important, again, that we bring in positive energy. It's our job to take care of our human vessels so we can efficiently follow the blueprint that we have created for our life. Okay, If you take too much onto your plate, it can cause stress and disease right or dis hyphen ease <clears throat> to our body 
so our objectives here on earth become more difficult to accomplish and you know we have to think about material wealth it's never part of a soul's blueprint prosperity in the form of money may certainly come to us in a variety of reasons but it's never the objective happiness and inner peace are always higher priorities than a large bank account we can't take power or money with us when we leave the physical but we can take the gratitude and love that others have given us and the easiest way to garner that affection is to project a calm and peaceful energy to those around us too. Meditation and a ritual of sitting in silence with our guides is always suggested if this card appears frequently um, in spreads. So it's very important that we do that. And today is a day where we're going to have to take ourselves to at hand and to task and think about that um, you know taking care of our vessel taking care of ourselves emotionally spiritually and physically today look what else we have <clears throat> we have the hermit of course the hermit is that retreat and recharge card right take time to rest and recuperate in order to continue our growth Bene we, we can benefit from the information that will come directly from our heart space this is the card of solitude and meditation it re represents our capacity to go within and arrive at the cave of our heart. Many of the answers <clears throat> are, are come to our problems. They lie within. And if we don't take time <clears throat> excuse me, to connect with ourself and feel comfortable alone, we won't be able to hear the messages that are rising up inside us. The cross-legged meditation position of the cave-dwelling sadhu on this card is an invitation to harness the power of your meditation practice. Okay, so we have been working maybe hard and giving all everything to our curtain situation, and it may become draining and detrimental to our development unless we retreat and recharge our energies. So we are being guided to take a step back at this time. If we are working on bringing something together. Um, <clears throat> our over involvement could impede the process so we need to retreat and breathe if we have something to say or or do that could have a larger impact on our life spend some time in deep thought even contemplation before moving forward think about your move before you do this often when we rush in we don't see how destructive our action can be so let's meditate and listen to our soul's wisdom today before going forward to do any major projects. <clears throat> wow. So all of this is about stepping back and taking time for ourselves. Now, contradictory to that comes in the action card. So maybe we're being told to take action to meditate more, right? So a shift is coming and the time is now and we shouldn't hesitate. We need to face our fears and do it anyway. When big change is on the horizon, it's time to take action. Of course, there are times to deliberate and carefully consider our next step. But right now is the time to take immediate action. So maybe we're being asked, maybe some of you have a goal today or something stepping up or you have a resume you're made out or maybe you're hearing about an interview or maybe you had a phone call that had to do with business and you've had to act on that. <clears throat> or maybe you have a doctor's appointment that phoned and said you need to come in. So whatever the case is, their action can be going in any direction. But you could be asked to take action to take time for yourself today. Look forward with a calm and steely gaze and then forge with clarity and determination. Power and grace. Again, right? Calm, calm, right? Quicken your spirit by making decisions now. Even if you are not 100% certain of your decision right now, it's better to make any choice rather than none. So something could be coming in for some of you where you have to make a decision and a choice and you can't hesitate or procrastinate about it. But it could be about anything. Now, coming in the center with the moonology, you've got a time to give rather than take. And this is a new moon in Virgo. You may be dealing with a Virgo energy or not. But this is about spreading news to other people, sharing of yourself, your time, your effort, your support, and maybe even your love to someone. Uh, it, it's some, we've heard this old adage before, it's better to give than to receive. So this may be a day where you're going to be stepping up to help somebody. You might be guiding someone else into meditation. Maybe you're going to lead a meditative group or you're going to be doing something like that to incorporate this beautiful, calm energy. Coming in with our last card, look what we're doing. We're going through metamorphosis. I'm not surprised. That's Pisces. We're always changing things. So we are in the process of deep and beautiful change. 
just like the butterflies we see in this picture, right? The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices we have to make. If we are to transform from one form to another, a part of us needs to die. We have to let go of something here. We have to walk away. We have to close doors <clears throat> in order to go forward through new ones. Letting go sometimes isn't easy, especially when we're used to thinking a certain way about our life and how we live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, we're required to release old ideas and embrace a necessary change so we can live our best life. Perhaps we're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves us, a relationship that is draining us, or unhealthy habits that we've become accustomed to. Despite our fear, we must accept that this is a transformation time for us. There will be some loss involved, but we'll love what we're becoming now. <clears throat> wow, Pisces. I love our reading for today. It's all about energy with us. It's all about what we bring into our soul level. So take time today, Pisces, for yourself. Bring in that calm. Even if you have to go on your noon hour and go sit on a bench in a park or go for a walk in Mother Nature and breathe in and breathe out and give grace and gratitude for what you have. And, you know, this is we need to surround ourselves today in positivity and positive people. So shut out all that negative. Don't allow yourself to be drawn into other people's drama. It's not your fight, not your battle. So I think you're going to be setting an example today. Yeah, I do. This is a great metamorphosis and a transformation that we all need to do today for ourselves. Well, my beautiful Pisces, know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I wish you a very beautiful day today. And Pisces, I'll see you soon.